So I've just been prepping a ton of test skis for this weekend in Lake Placid. It's going to be really cold. Lows, I mean, minus 22, minus 24 Celsius. That's like 12, you know, really, really cold. Below legal race temperatures, highs climbing up minus 15 Fahrenheit degrees, like low single digits um, and well below zero overnight. So lots of really hard paraffins, lots of layers of really hard paraffin, really important. But what I'm thinking about right now are the top coats. We're trying fully supplied blocks and just scraped and brushed paraffins, but we're also trying liquids. And one of the things about liquids is that they tend to run colder than their solid counterparts, whether that be flea supplied or uh, ironed. The star liquids use the same basic wax chemistry as the next powders, but the liquids always run colder. It's really common for us to run, uh, say, a cold powder covered with a warm liquid or a polar powder covered with a cold liquid. I'm not sure exactly why this is. The most plausible explanation is that the cooling and crystallization process of the wax is different from evaporation, which is occurring with this alcohol-based liquid carrier, from cooling from the melt uh, that tends to create a sort of disorganized molecular or crystalline structure. The uh, cooling from evaporation creates a sort of flatter, more lattice-like crystalline structure on the surface, which expresses a little colder, I think. So for whatever reason, this, uh, Star Polar, which is the same chemistry as the Polar powder, which gets ironed on, tends to run so cold that it's never been a race wax for us. I've had fantastic long days skiing in extreme cold where this just makes the skis feel great at low speed with low traffic out there. No one's out skiing. It's super, super sandy, slow feeling snow. And this does a great job. I've had it win early morning testing at super cold races, but I've never had it on race skis because by the time we get into traffic on the course and legal race temperatures, which is minus four Fahrenheit or minus 20 Celsius, uh, the cold usually tends to take over uh, really quickly. And again, that's because uh, the cold will run considerably colder than its range, particularly in race traffic, race legal temps, and race speeds higher speeds seem to favor slightly warmer waxes often. Uh, the other thing we'll often do is uh, in the layering of liquids, put a couple of colder liquids followed by one warmer one. The warmer compounds have a higher lubricity. They're slipperier. They're just not as tenacious and resistant. Um, so often the warm waxes are really fast when you have a super thin film. And so one layer at the end of an application can be great. Anyway, I would not be surprised at all to see the cold be more in play because it usually is in racing. The Polar, in my mind, is a little more of a training wax. From other brands, we'll be checking out the Vau Cold and the Rex G21 and all the, all the standard cold liquids that we might be playing with along with other flea supply blocks and, and other waxes.